oh my gosh, the customer's driving me nuts! Morning, Tuesday, January 25th. Welcome to Grant's Voice. Grant's Voice is dedicated to making your video look great so you look good and your voiceover works sound great so you sound good with commercials, voiceovers, explainers, and all that kind of stuff. Tuesdays are Tech Tuesday, and for 30 episodes, today is number 30. For 30 episodes, I've been doing what it takes to get started in voiceover or how to get started in voiceover. One of the popular things to do, well, let me start another way. First of all, customer relations. Learn to relax. If you have a personality that gets set off by most anything, by most every little challenge, this may not be the greatest line of work for you. One of the things that many voice artists have is history or experience in theater. Theater experience is great because it teaches you several things. One of the things theater experience teaches you is how to act. So if you have any uh, time in theater over many productions, you, you learn how to act. You learn how to act in stage. You, you learn how to improvise. You learn how to work with characters. You learn how a line might need to sound, etc. It really, really helps. The second thing theater teaches you is how to deal with rejection. <clears throat> We've all seen the movies where we need somebody taller. We need somebody that sounds older. We need somebody that, you know, watch Chorus Line sometime if you can pull that out of your hat. I think it's on uh, Hulu. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. Watch a show about getting chosen for theater and all the things that, you know, they just don't like you. <laughs> That's it. And it has nothing to do with you. Uh, maybe you, you know, did this at the wrong time and the, the, you know, whatever. Theater teaches you how to deal with re with rejection and or teaches you you don't like that feeling and you never want to do it again. Um, so those are two things that I think really help <clears throat> voice artists. So if you don't have theater experience, try to get some. And in this day and age, uh, theaters are struggling. But one thing you can look for is an acting group, preferably if you can in person. Acting online is okay but when when you're with someone and and you have the physicality somebody can make a move and not say anything and that's hard to react to online <clears throat> and there are also improv clubs where you get together with four or five people and one person is kind of a director and a watcher as it were and the other four or five people interact and sometimes it's totally improvised sometimes you have a script and you're all just reading that is great experience on acting. Okay, so now let's talk about rejection. There are people that will reject you for all kinds of reasons. Some people are trying to get one over on you. They are going to figure out a way to reject your voiceover as too, too anything. Too strong, too light, too fast, too, you didn't sound enough like my grandma. Whatever they come up with, they're trying not to pay for the work. And drugstores have people that steal. It's just human nature. And you need to get past that because it will screw your mind up for the rest of your day as you move in. Relax. You do the best work you can do with customer relations. You do the best work you can do in the voiceover. Redo it. Right now, I am working on a outside video for a guy that I'm probably on the fifth go-around. I'm not happy. I'm not happy because he's asking for revisions. I'm not happy that I can't hit what he wants. And what's happening is, is I'm trying, he wants it outside in a natural setting. And I'm trying to do it outside, but because the lighting is bad, I'm having to like really like feel like I'm leaning in. And, and what's happening is this is all happening on my face and it's not natural. And so yesterday I, re I recorded in two different places and one, I had so much reflection off my garage door, which was behind me. The camera shut down, so I'm dark. Ah, really? Yeah. So today, I will do three or four more cuts on his two videos. This is on-screen video spokesperson stuff. And he's being very kind about it. And I just, I, he said, I'm sorry to put you through this. And it's like, you're not putting me through anything I didn't already know. 
put out the best work you can put out and let your customer know you're there to work for them as hard as you can, like any business, right? I mean, this is not anything to do with voiceover. Maybe the rejection part is, but not this part, the doing the best thing you can. I am in several forums, which I have mentioned often on Facebook and LinkedIn for voiceover groups. And always there's somebody that's going off on a customer. Oh my gosh, I'm blah, blah, blah. kind of like I started the video. And the challenge there is all that energy hurts you, not the customer. Because maybe if, like, if you're on a digital platform, it's easy for them to give you a lousy review and have that sitting on your record. If they post it to your website or as if it's a direct customer, you cannot post it. But the point is, is that get rid of that energy. Do everything you can and they give you a bad review. Have a response built that says, you know, I'm sorry, we couldn't get together on this. All of my cuts were not what you wanted. Hopefully you can find what you need and get out of it and then move on. When you get a reputation on a website, it will follow you both good and bad. So if you ever need to talk about digital platforms, please see me and I'll, I'll give you some of my experience there. Another thing to talk about this morning is as you get to digital platforms, and there are a hundred, and, and that's a low number. There's more than that. But, you know, the big boys are Fiverr, Upwork, Voices123, Voices.com, and there are literally hundreds. I mean, they're, it's just, uh, yeah, everybody wants to get into voiceover and then everybody thinks they have a better digital platform. One of the things you'll commonly see is if you give me low price now, I'll give you more, more work later. And what you need to tell people is it just, it just doesn't work that way. Sorry, it just doesn't work that way. Tell you what, you give me four jobs in a row and I'll discount your fifth one so heavily it'll make your eyes spin. That's how voiceover works. Not give me something cheap now and I'll give you more later because it's cheap. I can tell you right now from experience and from the experience my friends have, that ain't going to happen. You'll never see that future work or you'll see such so little of it and the people will be so hard to work with that it's just not worth it. I had this experience yesterday. A guy asked me to do uh, 10 to 15 YouTube videos a week. And I gave him my normal rate. People are out there doing YouTube videos for $5 for a 1,000 words. And that, that's just, it's not even worth doing unless you're starting out and you're trying to build your reps and you're trying to build your reputation and you're trying to build that practice set. Now, YouTube's kind of harmless, as it were. YouTube videos. And so the, there's no right or wrong to that. If you want to do $5, thousand word voiceovers, go right ahead. But get out of it because those customers are cheap and they will harangue you and they will make your life miserable. Better that a guy comes in at, at $100 for 75 words because he knows that's what it takes and he's already got a business and an agency and he's so much easier to work with. I don't know if this helps or not because you've got to build some of this. But get into some acting, get into some improv classes, get rejected a few times by someone other than your family, um, <laughs> and see how you can build that tough skin. Relax into your customers and work hard. Work hard at customer service. That is episode 30 of Getting Started in VoiceOver. And I hope this is helpful to some of you that are considering it. And there's some business lessons in here that are also worth considering. So. On that note, I'm going to leave you to your Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.